Good evening, everyone. Ted Bundy has 13 hours to live, and he is using those hours to try to buy himself more time. Tom, the latest information we have is that Bundy has now confessed to yet another murder. This one, a Grand Junction, Colorado woman. But despite his continued willingness, prison officials say they are confident they'll go on with tomorrow's ex execution as planned. Shortly after 2.30 this afternoon, the state prison showed the first sign of what was to come. A diesel engine that will power tomorrow's scheduled electrocution was turned on and tested. They're expecting to do their jobs tomorrow morning. Today, an estimated 300 reporters from around the world gathered across the street from the prison and described how Bundy once boasted of his own self-importance. He said, I look to this, this boss was trying to read much. He said, my cases are far more pressing. He said, think of the transcontinental aspect, think of the television coverage, think of all this. You know, I don't, he said, I don't mean to brag, but my case is much more valuable. George Johnson of Jacksonville said he came to say how much he hated Bundy, but also to sell these t-shirts. How much do they go for? Ten dollars. Or two for twenty. Are you making money on those? Not a lot. You're making some money. Do you, uh, you think it's appropriate to make money off some man's execution? I don't see why not. Investigators are working too, trying to get all the information they can from Bundy before tomorrow's scheduled execution. This guy is totally consumed with murder 24 hours a day. He's fantasizing about it, he's thinking about it, thinking about his next victim, planning his next event, uh, needing to go out and search, needing to go out and kill. I think that's, that's what he is. He's killing. The early morning hours of Super Bowl Sunday, 1978, two Chi Omega sorority sisters were bludgeoned to death as they slept. Two others were seriously injured, and another woman a few blocks away was raped and beaten. Sometimes he opens his trap and put some other legal proceeding or some other charade. Uh, these victims have to go through the same process, and I mean, to keep on and on and glorify this, this is creepy. Daughter. Did you take her? Did you kill her? You really still think this? No. 
I don't. There was never any doubt between us that I knew, that he knew, that I knew he was talking about himself. Obvious 11th hour attempt to prolong his life. Families of victims do not agree that the promise of a confession is worth keeping Bundy alive. A convicted serial killer Ted Bundy is scheduled to die at 7 o'clock, which is less than five minutes from now. We're fired up in anticipation of that execution, scheduled to die in the Florida electric chair uh, a matter of minutes away. It appears that Ted Bundy only has a few more moments to live, and he has been just strapped into the electric chair. Good morning, I'm Nancy Rubin. Just moments ago in the Florida State Prison, serial killer Ted Bundy was executed for the death of 12-year-old Lily Lee to Blake City. Mike, what was the reaction? You said there was a crowd of people. Nancy, there was uh, a cheer, uh, there were whistles, uh, someone brought along fireworks. Uh...